All right, guys, it's time for the top six finally, so let's go. <clears throat> Not wine, honey. So, Juliana. let me bring my top six. Okay, Colombia was in my top six. I think the other people who need to be there is, according to me, on the basis of swimsuit, I guess, uh, Philippines has to be there, and then Laos, Mexico, Vietnam, and USA. This is my guess, and this is my personal ranking of top six according to the swimsuit. Let's see what happens. Oh, Peru. I mean, Peru literally had a slip over there, so I'm not sure, okay? And joining the list is... is... Miss Philippines! Sophia! And yes! You would say. Miss Thailand! Oh. Saruda. I mean, I love Thailand, okay, but her swimsuit was not the best for me, so. Anyways, congratulations to her, though. So, two spots. Go, I think it should be Vietnam and uh, Laos or Mexico. Oh, USA, I forgot about her. Obviously, I knew that she was going to be top six. Last spot for Vietnam. And Vietnam is a fan favorite and she did pretty well, so... I don't know. And finally... Miss... Everybody's saying Vietnam. Miss Vietnam! Oh, she was really was like, ah, a hose in her mouth. Are your top six finalists for Miss International Queen? Okay, what's gonna happen yes. now? Is there gonna be QA? Question answer it is. Okay. Miss Columbia, you have chosen question number one. Question number one. I will read it twice and you have 30 seconds to answer. I'll read it twice. If you had the choice, would you rather be president or the first lady? And why? Okay, let me say that again. If you had the choice, would you rather be president? Okay, this is or a the tricky question, lady, okay? And why? I think the obvious answer would be president, but if you want to say the first lady, I think it would really make it different. Good evening, everybody. Detrás de cada hombre. How long do they have to answer the question? She said that behind every man, there will be always the woman who supports the president. So she would be the one to help and to support and to give the affection to that person. So she would like to be the one who holds the man, the man that uh, she will smile and, say, and the one that say good morning, good night. And above all, to say that it doesn't matter if, if anything bad is going on. Thank you. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you, I'm not Ms. sure if I'm impressed by that answer. Please welcome Miss Peru. Miss Peru, you have chosen. Question Many countries now have marriage equality, and some even allow people to change their titles, like Mr., Mrs., or Miss. Do you think the fight for equality Obviously it's not is over, over? Or what do you think still needs to be done, and why? I'll read it again. I'll read it again. 
Many countries now have marriage equality, and some even allow people to change their titles, like Mr., Mrs., or Miss. Do you think the fight for equality is over, or what do you think still needs to be done, and why? Good night, everyone. The fight for equality is going to be over the day that every single individual in this world have the same privilege. The fight is going to end when we going to sleep knowing that everyone have the same opportunity and we live in a happily ever after society. It was a short and sweet answer, but definitely more impactful than the first one. Philippines, you gotta slay it. Question number three. Question number three. I'll read it twice. What is the power within you that you think you want to pass on to the other people? And why? I'll read that one more time. What is the power within you that you think you want to pass on to other people? And why? I think something that I can pass to other people is my positivity as a person. I'm a challenge-driven person. I can encourage each and every one to think positively and to think optimistically. Because at the end of the day, after every darkness, we should always look at the bright side of every situation. Thank you. I need to hear that again. Like, it was very short. Each and every what is that? Uh, I think something that I can pass to other people is my positivity as a person. I'm a challenge-driven person. I can encourage each and every one to think positively and to think optimistically. Because at the end of the day, after every darkness, we should always look at the bright side of every situation. Thank you. That's a killer answer. Wonderful. Thank you so much. countries trans women are allowed to compete the woman beauty pageant do you think that this helps promoting gender inclusivity i'll read that one more time in some countries trans women are allowed to compete in the woman beauty pageant do you think that this helps promoting gender inclusivity thank you so much i believe that everyone has to be respect each other and respect the role for the competition if that organization around transgender to complete with the women, we have to respect and follow the rule and respect each other because we are a human. As a human, we have to see each other to be a human. Equality today is not for somebody, but equality today is for all. Thank you so much. I feel like she kind of dodged the question. She didn't mention inclusivity at all. How does it promote inclusivity? Please welcome Miss U.S. U.S. is amazing in answer, I feel. So, I suppose Miss U.S. could take, it, take the crown. Question number six. Question number six. If you can get rid of only one attitude, belief, or value that you think is unnecessary, remove it from this world, what would that be and why? I'll read that one more time. If you can get rid of only one attitude, belief, or value that you think is unnecessary and remove it from this world, what would it be and why? There is a belief that we could remove from this world. It is the limitation that you have to be just one thing. As people, we are more than just one thing. I myself, as a fashion designer, as a survivor of physical, sexual, and mental abuse, I know I am able to stand, to rise to any occasion, because I am a woman with a diamond heart. That no matter how many struggles or how many times the world might try to break me, I will always keep on shining. OK. Here. Thank you. All right. Miss Vietnam has selected question number two. Though many countries have passed laws recognizing gender transition, meaning that many countries acknowledge trans women as women, what is your opinion on whether it is fair? Ah, oh, this is for such a tricky question. To be allowed to compete in sports with female athletes. So I'll read that again. Though many countries have passed laws recognizing gender transition, honestly, meaning that many, I think it's not fair, especially an athlete, because come on, male bodies and female bodies are different, and although do you do feel 
women inside, but the physicalities, it is obviously going to be so much more different than biological women. So I do think it's a little unfair, especially in the sports or physically category, but in beauty pageants and all, I don't think it's unfair. But because that's just my point of view. So what do you guys think? Because I feel like it's a very tricky question. And if she gets it, gets it right, she can be the winner. Một vài quốc gia trên thế giới đã công nhận chuyển đổi giới tính của những trường hợp người chuyển giới. Bạn nghĩ sao về những trường hợp uh, người chuyển giới tham gia vào các bộ môn thể thao dành cho một người phụ nữ? Thật ra tôi nghĩ rằng chúng tôi đều vẫn là người con gái. Là một người phụ nữ, chúng tôi luôn luôn xem bản thân mình là một người phụ nữ. Phụ nữ. Chính vì vậy tôi hoàn toàn xem việc... Um, người chuyển giới được tham gia các bộ môn à, dành cho phụ nữ bởi vì họ đều trí óc của họ là người con gái và tất cả những gì mà họ coi mình là một người con gái chính vì vậy tôi hoàn toàn đồng ý với việc này bởi vì chúng ta nên tôn trọng những người à, chuyển giới và chúng ta nên tôn trọng suy nghĩ của họ xin cảm ơn I do believe that transgender is not determined due to the transsexual surgery or not. I do believe that it is up to us that is the, who decide who we truly are. From the bottom of our heart, we are a woman. From our heart, from our brain, we are a woman. And that is the reason why I am supporting this 100%, because we are all women. Thank you so much. Honestly, I'm not that much satisfied with the answer because she didn't touch the main question. Six questions and six answers from our top six finalists. And when we come back, the result will show who will still be in the competition. So stay tuned. What top three is there? Uh, okay, guys, it's time for the top three announcement. And personally, on the basis of question answer round, I think it would be uh, Philippines, USA, and. Uh, it could be a tie between Vietnam and Peru. So that is my guess. Let's see what happens. Wait no more as I already have the names of yeah. the team to step closer to the crown is Miss Thailand! Baruda Panjakam! Congratulations to her, but her answer was not really my favorite. <laughs> I am so this sorry, but it is always subjective, okay? The top three finalists is... Is... Miss Peru! Oh, wow, this is gonna be wild. Wild, wild, wild. USA, I guess. I think it is gonna be the USA. Oh, I'm sad, I'd be sad for the Philippines and v Vietnam. I mean, congratulations to her, but I'm really, really amazed that uh, USA and Philippines didn't make it. I am really, really shocked. I think Vietnam is taking the crown. Honestly, I do feel so. Because she has been a front runner from the very start, and at this point, either it's Vietnam or Thailand's crown. I, I guess I'll be happy for both. But guys, what do you think, okay? Because at the end of the day, the answers are going to be subjective, okay? The answers that I like and the answers that uh, judges like and the answers that you guys like, it'll be totally different. So what do you guys have to say? Let me know. For the, uh, one contestant is answering. Start with the answer. Soundproof headphones. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. What is the question? Crucial force. What is the most crucial force of transformation that formed you to be Miss International Queen 2000? What, is, what does that even mean? What, what is, is the most crucial force of transformation that forms you to be Miss International so Basically, what is your quality, right? <laughs> so, I would say I am an empowering trans woman. I am standing here not only to get the crown, but I am standing here fraud for change. Change our community to be equal, not only LGBTQ community, but everyone, everyone that a human, when we cut our hand, 
we still have the same blood, the same color of blood. Why we separate each other? We are a human, and I love to say everyone, this is my time, and we have only one car, but we have all the 23 winners for around the world. I am standing here not only to be the winner, but I am standing here to represent of everyone that didn't have the voice. So today I am so proud to stand here. Thank you so much for having me. Together we can create the world where its frost of transformation is exit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is so much better from our last answer. Thank you, Thailand. Next, please welcome Beru. Be it crucial to the transfer. Five years ago, I get divorced because my husband didn't accept me as a woman. It was a really crucial moment of my life and I thought everything was about to end. I thought that I would never feel like a woman and nobody will give me that privilege. But the force of transformation begins when I accept myself and I love myself for who I am. I love myself for who I wanna be and that's what I wanna be the inspiration for all those little girls who think that at the end of the cooler is not going to be a lie. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Ms. You so Peru. Much. Next, please welcome. Crucial for 2000 information. One of the động lực thúc đẩy về sự thay đổi to lớn nhất đã làm cho bạn trở thành Miss International Queen 2024. Um, động lực duy nhất khiến cho tôi muốn trở thành Miss International Queen đó chính là muốn cho thế giới này tốt đẹp hơn và bình đẳng hơn và ngày hôm nay tôi đứng ở đây tôi đã mơ về giấc mơ này 6 năm rồi và đó cũng chính là động lực để giúp tôi có mặt trong top 3 ngày hôm nay và làm nên lịch sử cho Việt Nam và nếu tôi có được danh hiệu này điều đầu tiên là công nghệ và uh, giáo dục đó là những điều mà tôi muốn hướng tới để trở thành một lực để thay đổi cho thế giới bởi vì tôi tin rằng hai điều đó rất là quan trọng. Xin cảm ơn. One of my crucial transformation is I am ready to transform the world because I am the force of transformation. I do believe that I have been dreaming for this dream six years, and now standing here on the Miss International Queen stage, I take. What the fuck? Oh my God. Not at this time. My internet is fucking up. Not a cute look. <laughs> oh my god. Look at pork bite. Oh my god. Look at pork bite. Oh my god. Look at pork bite. Where is my internet? Where is my Wi-Fi? Hello? Hello? Mm. Yeah, finally it's connected. It says no internet. You cannot be serious, can you? I believe that I have been dreaming for this dream six years. And now, standing here on the Miss International Queen stage, I take all my passion, and if I was Mm-mm, girl. Oh my god, I'm just so mad right now. Not at this moment, not at this very moment. Oh, standing here on the Miss International Queen stage, I take all my passion. And if I was able to become the Miss International Queen 2024, I will try my best to work on advocacy and education and technology because I think that these I love how are she's the like, important thing to shape the world right. and to transform the generation. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Vietnam. Thank you so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your top three finalists for Miss Okay, it's going to be very hard.
I think for me it could be winner is between Thailand and Vietnam. Okay, so Vietnam. Uh, let's be. Uh, let's keep it at Vietnam. First winner, first runner up is Thailand, and second runner up is Peru. That's what I think it is gonna happen. A big round of applause. All right, guys, it's time for the result. I, I, as I already said, it's my one, two, three would be. Vietnam, Thailand, and Peru, but I'd be happy for any Asian country and even happy for Peru because they all deserve it. Okay, they've come to a lot of. Goes to. Wait. And the second runner up goes to. Peru, I know, I know, Miss... and. Miss Vietnam! Yeah, what? Time. Okay, cool, cool. I think Thailand is gonna win, but you never know. The judges are very unpredictable and I've never been this wrong in any beauty pageant. Let's be for real. Honest, most of the time, my winner is always the winner and even in the top five, top 10, 80% of the time it is correct. This time I'm totally way off, so <laughs> I don't know what's happening. All right, finally, the moment is here. Thailand girl, I'm rooting for you, girl. Wear the crown. And let me remind you that one of you is about to become the new Miss International Queen 2024. And this is a very important role. And should the new Miss International Queen up, National Queen is... I think Miss Thailand answer was more powerful. So... I can't. Maybe it's because she shared a story. That's why. But congratulations to her. This is like the plot twist that I never expected. They made it seem like you know they're either gonna let Vietnam or the home country win, but Peru is the winner. And right after this, Miss International Queen 2024 will be taking her first walk. All right. Beautiful. Miss Peru, please Fantastic. take your first walk as Miss International Queen 2024. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video. That would be up. Do you guys agree with the result? Do you guys have any other opinion? Let me know in the comment section. And congratulations to all the winners and even the girls who couldn't make it. You know, I really hope they get all the success in the world. So, yeah, I'll meet you guys in the next reaction video. Bye. -bye.